guys and hello from South Africa. Sorry, I've literally got crisps in my teeth because we've just arrived at our first Airbnb and I'm already snacking. I am so excited to be here. You have no idea. Our Airbnb is absolutely beautiful. We were just outside of Cape Town for the first few days spending time with all of Cameron's family, which was absolutely lovely. In Somerset West, we did a load of wine tasting exploring all the wine farms. It was gorgeous and I'll give you all of my recommendations for that. But for this video, we are gonna focus on Cape Town and diving into all of the wonderful things that we do over the next few days, where we eat and just all the amazing things that we get up to because we've got such a packed itinerary to get through over the next few days before we then jump on a plane and head to Durban. But let me show you around before our stuff ends up all over the place and I can give you a little room tour because wow, this place is such a gem. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Right, let me show you around. Look at this view from our balcony. We've got the mountains and we've got the beach just here. You can see the palm trees down there. I mean, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And then, wow, oh wow, we've got the sunset setting just over there. We've got some a couple of chairs here where we've actually just been sat collapsed because the sun was like beaming in over here, which was lovely. You come in and you've got our lovely kitchen. So we've got sofa here, TV there if we ever needed it. But honestly, we've got so many activities. Our kitchen, we've literally got everything we could possibly need. Washing machine, tumble dryer, bridge, kettle. Anyway, fully, fully equipped kitchen. Then we've got our lovely bedroom, which is so nice. And then you come through here. We've got a little shower, a bath. little sink and then a slightly bizarre mirror around this side. Hi guys. And then probably the most exciting bit, which Cameron is working on right now, is if you come all the way back through here, we've got this decking area, a little table for us to eat outside, deck chairs and a hot tub, which Cameron is working on filling. Is the water going in? Yeah. Yeah. So we are slowly Pretty topping it up. But it's a whole, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's like a wood burning uh, hot tub. So it li you literally heat it by creating a little fire in there and heating up the water. So we've got like our firewood in there. We need to probably get some more from the shops. But wow, it is so beautiful. And then the view from our bedroom in the morning to be able to look straight out there. Wow, 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 wow. Ah! We're literally now going to, as soon as this hot tub is finished filling up with water, it takes like three hours for the hot tub to warm up. And yeah, look, you can see the smoke coming from at the top, but whilst that heats up, we're actually going to head out. We're gonna walk down to the beach over there. It's an 11 minute walk to the beach, so super close. We're gonna walk down there and just stop and have a drink at one of the restaurants along there, get some food, get any supplies that we need for this evening and then come back and get in the hot tub. And we are very excited. Do you think it's nearly full? Um, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's beavering away at it. I'm not really contributed to anything since we've arrived. I've just been giddy with excitement. Look at that, guys. And tomorrow, we are heading up Table Mountain, which is going to be so exciting. is just making us a cup of tea. I am going to get up, what time is it? Eight o'clock, so it's not like we've had a crazy early start, but we definitely wanna make the most of our day today. So we are now going to have a cup of tea in the hot tub, which is going to be so nice. We were in it all last night as well. I actually was so impressed. There was one point where I just thought, there is absolutely no way we're gonna heat this up. That fire is not gonna do anything but he was absolutely dedicated. He was not taking no for an answer. So 
it did eventually warm up about 10 o'clock and then we were in there and it was so nice. The stars were incredible last night. Anyway, we're gonna get our cup of tea, we're going to get in the hot tub and then we're gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna start exploring Cape Town for the day. First up on our Cape Town tour was the iconic Table Mountain. We got the cable car to the top and we were not disappointed by the view that we were greeted with when we got there. There's actually quite a lot of space to walk around at the top of the mountain, which we really appreciated. There's also a cafe if you wanted to get some food or a drink. All we needed was a bottle of water and then hiked around the top to make sure that we got the views from absolutely every angle before we headed back down and headed off for some lunch. Kirstenbosch is a botanical gardens located in Cape Town and it is a truly, truly spectacular place to come. One thing that I would totally recommend is the treetop walk. The views were beautiful. Another thing that I would recommend but we actually didn't do because we didn't have time would be to actually bring a picnic and to come here at sunset. There is so much lovely open space for you to be able to sit, bring your own food, have a picnic and just take in the gorgeous views. Oh, I would have loved to have done that so much. So if you are able to bake in the time to do that, I think that would be a truly amazing way to spend an afternoon. guys day two of cape town today we have such a fun itinerary so obviously i'm gonna bring you with me but first of all it's off to get coffee and pastries yesterday's dinner was so good oh my god i should not be hungry right now because kloof street house was amazing i recommend it so highly but of course i am so yes time for some breakfast
First up on our itinerary today was Kulk Bay, which is a sleepy, extremely pretty fishing village just on the outskirts of Cape Town. We didn't stay here for long, but it was well worth the pit stop to enjoy our coffees, eat our pastries, and visit these very snoozy seals. They were honestly absolutely hilarious. You could get so close to them, they were so chilled, and they just sat snoring very loudly, basking in the sun. Then after taking in the beautiful still waters, it was time to hit the road again for the next pit stop. Find some penguins. Hey little guy, they have a little it was actually nesting season when we visited the penguins at Boulders Beach, which I wasn't expecting at all, and it was so, so special. So whilst they weren't all on the beach running around your feet like I had seen in a couple of videos, we did get to see all of these groups of newly hatched chicks and all of the eggs that were still waiting to be hatched, and oh, it was such, such a special sight. So if you do come this time of year, you can expect it to be nesting season for all of the penguins and oh, just look at them. Cape Point had honestly some of the most breathtaking views that I have truly ever, ever seen. A couple of points of recommendation. One, you could spend honestly hours here. It is an entire nature reserve. We honestly didn't have long, as you can see from our entire itinerary, everything was relatively rushed but we chose to go straight to Cape Point and walk to the highest, most southern point of the nature reserve. And wow, was it special. I also would say that you need to make sure that you bear in mind load shedding. There is a funicular that can take you up to the top, but if there's load shedding, then that's not running. It wasn't running when we were there, which was fine because we were more than happy to hike to the top, but it is a little bit of a workout. So something to bear in mind for you to either plan around the load shedding times or bring a sensible pair of shoes so you can hike all the way to the top. And believe me, the views are worth it. drive back through to Cape Town we stopped off at Cape Point Vineyards for a late lunch. As you can see the views were absolutely spectacular. I probably wouldn't give this place as high a recommendation as some of the other places we've eaten, that is me being very fussy but the service wasn't as good as some of the other places but it was still such a gorgeous place to stop off for some lunch. And then it was back on the road again. As you guys can see, we crammed so much into just a couple of days. It really was a teaspoon tour of everything that Cape Town has to offer. And this drive along Chapman's Peak at the end was just the cherry on top. It was honestly breathtaking. I would recommend absolutely everything that I've included in this video. Everything was honestly 10 out of 10. I will list the full itinerary of everything that we did in the description bar below. Next up on our itinerary is a couple of days of family before heading off on safari, which I am so excited about. But until then, have the very best week, guys, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.